What's up guys, this is Ken from Ken's How To's and Reviews. Today, uh, I'm gonna show you how to take the head off of a golf club. So this is something that is a little, or was intimidating to me uh, when I first approached the idea of modifying my own clubs and doing my own repairs and things like that. So today I'm gonna put a stability shaft uh, on my Scotty Cameron and um, we are going to take this head off of this shaft. So this is super easy. It's not difficult at all. And you have a couple options. So your, fir your first option is a camping gas uh, torch that you can torch the shaft around where it meets the club head. And it will melt the epoxy and you will be able to take that off. Today I'm not going to use that. Uh, just because I want to use a less invasive way. Uh, so today we are going to use a Wagner heat gun. It's pretty simple. If you don't have a heat gun, you, you can use a dryer, which uh, a dryer may take you longer, but uh, this one's pretty high strength. So uh, what you'll need is this guy right here, and you'll need a pretty good pair of insulated gloves, some leather gloves to uh, keep you from getting burnt. So we'll fire this bad boy up. Put it on its highest setting. And all we're gonna do is you're gonna heat it up. It really helps if you rotate the shaft around and you'll notice when the club head is starting to come loose, you will be, you'll smell some epoxy that's burning and that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you're not burning anything around your club, like the towel that I have right here. Just make sure you're staying safe, wearing eye protection, which I'm not. So we'll set this guy down, leave it going. It begins to spin, and there you go. Kind of place this down on a surface uh, that's not gonna burn and let that cool off. Put your shaft down and let that cool off, and uh, you're done. Now we can turn this off. And you can modify your new putter. So I'm gonna take this guy and just put it in there. Like that. All right, have a good one.